or like what you think attract um, well, I want to know how Asians like as an Asian straight Asian woman how they would distinguish between these guys we don't live in a culture where we make fun never lived in Asia and you're not really close or hung out with people who are Asian right you could see these guys and think okay they're all from the look the same I don't even know what the difference they're seeing this guy and this guy this guy and this guy I don't know they look exactly the same I mean they don't to me because I've spent a lot of time but for many people they do unless you just have some gut instinct right so that's kind of what I'm after. It's like, well, you wouldn't know if you're not so... Beauty, we're socialized for beauty. We're socialized for subtlety. Like, we're between these two guys. Like if, if you've never been, you've been socialized to see those differences, they're the same... ...in the pink. Because... Like, in computer... Like, no, who major in computer science? It's more like a nerd, nerdy version. Yeah. So, like... Like, he could be my friend, like, I... Dude, she just, I'm sorry. she put you in the friend zone. Are you okay, dude? I'm gonna be your friend. Ah, oh, dude. Oh. You're good? Okay, we're good. Hang on. By the way, yo, by the way, I need two more a quick volunteers. Someone who has, uh, I need someone who's probably gonna be uh, Southeast Asian, um, but who has... a. Dude, it is you. Oh my God. You don't even know what I want, and you're the man. All righty. What I want, here, can, can we, can, here, can you put this up on the screen? Look right in here. What I, oh wait, hang on. What I want, has a, who's Asian and has the thinnest slits in their eyes. That's you, dude. Yeah. Look at you. You can't even, can you see out of those things? Yeah. All right, we good? All right. Now I, I need some. Hang on, hang on. You're going to turn around, dude. All right. And I need someone who has really b wide eyes. Like, you know, really, like, no, like their eyes are. Su no, not Asian. They don't have to be Asian. Like, just really open. Like, well, hang on. The woman in the green. Is that you? It doesn't seem. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah. Could be. Hang on. All right, come on. Yeah, we'll go with you. Why not? Yeah. I'll, I'll go with you. It's hard, right? Here. So here. We're, um... Okay, bro. Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? Where's your family from? My family, like, ethnic? Yep. Talk right into the mic. I'm Michael, and I'm Filipino. You're Filipino also? Yeah. What's your, what's your last name? Guarino. What is it? Guarino. Oh, Guarino. So you're G not, he's yeah. not adopted, bro, by the way. <laughs> All right. Um, no, do you know, do you know, like, so Philippines was a Spanish colony. And so when you meet, so many Filipinos, I mean, if you're pure, Taga if you're pure Filipino and you, you know, and, um, you're indigenous to the Philippines, then you likely won't have it. But um, so many Filipinos have Spanish names. And so Warino is, isn't, but that, that's really a, like a, okay. And what's your background? I'm Ritika. Um, my family's Indian. You're Indian? Mm -hmm. And what's your first name? Ritika. Ritika? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your last name? Siddhartha. Siddhartha? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, like cool. Buddha. And where is your family from in India? Like North India. North India? Yeah. Okay, so look at their, can you, can you stand next to each other? We're gonna talk about eyes for a second and cause zero, zero in on their eyes. Are we good? Are, you, are we cool? We're gonna talk about eyes? Okay, um, so here's the thing. You are Mexican guy, who is it? Dude, you asked the other day, like what, what, are we gonna talk about how it is that Asians have slanted eyes, right? That, so you're Mexican, you can get away with that, but that would be a non-PC way of saying what you just asked, right? You wouldn't say slanted eyes. You, do you know that? What should, uh, dude. But can you stand up though, actually? Can you stand up next to them? Because your eyes are actually, your, his eyes are sort of in between, right? So, uh, yeah, I don't know, how would you say it? You wouldn't say slanted eyes. How would, she, how would he say it? 
Like hooded? Like hooded eyes? Like, hooded eyes? Yeah. I don't know. Do you know? If he said you have slanted eyes, do you, is that like, what would you think about that? I don't, I don't really care. Dude, yeah, I mean, it's not really what we say. But, okay, but in, in any case, we're gonna, I'm going to talk about it a little bit, right? So the issue is, what we talk about with the Asian, the quote-unquote Asian eye, is an epicanthic eye fold. And the epicanthic fold, you're going to just stand up. Dude, what's your name, by the way? Sean. 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 What's your last name? Baez. Baez? So what the epicanthic fold is, and what makes the unique Asian eye, is right... Dude, can I touch your face? Yeah, Are we go good? Ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So... Ah, we need some bright... Oh, damn. I, come, come forward. I want to get brightness on the screen. Can we do that? Mm, let me try this. Can you go to this camera right here? I want to be able to see this. Go to yellow. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, get a close-up. So listen. So the epicanthic eye fold is like right here. There's a fo oh, you can see it really well in your eye. I can touch your face, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you, hang on. I got to get it right. Okay, zoom in. Okay. <laughs> right? You can't really see it on the screen well. But if you catch up with them after class, you'll see it. There's like a, there's a fold right. Dude, are you cool? Yeah, You're I'm comfortable? Cool. I won't poke you in the eye. All right. There's a fold right here on his eye that just kind of pulls the eye down a little bit. And what it does is it pulls the lid down. And so one of the things that's, that, that is true is like, look, his eye, his eye socket right, is the same as, there, is, as your eye socket. What's your, what's your ancestry? Are you, are you Hindu? Or are you uh, yeah. sick? Okay. Um, and dude, you, and you're sort of in between, right? And if you, okay, so, come, so that's the epicanthic eye fold. Do, does anyone know why, he, why, we ha, why we have that? Lots of Africans have it too, by the way. So it's not just an Asian thing. We talk about it as the Asian eye, but there are white people that have it as well. I mean, a lot, there are different people have it all over the world, but it's most pronounced throughout most of Asia. Does anyone know where it comes from? Do you know where it comes from, bro? Dude, where does it come from, my friend? Don't get it wrong. From what I've heard is that, like, when humans started migrating out of Africa when we entered like very snowy and sandy areas we like um, adapted that in the eye trait that's I'm not sure if that's accurate yeah that's what most people think no uh, most things it's usually wrong be true but that is what most people think yep what most people hear anybody else have an idea anyone have a thought Anyone want to kick it out? Dude, do you have a thought? Any, even a guess? Okay, look. So we don't we really don't know. We, the, the, the people have postulated that, but that doesn't seem to be the case. It may well be, it's just a genetic mutation at some point early on, and then that mutation just kind of spread, meaning that one person had it or a couple of people had it in different places. But also, it, all, it, it could be sexual selection. The people at certain points, attractive and something. It is, it's really cool, by the way. Because your eyes are, the, your eyes are so wide open, we imagine that you can, it's the same. Everything's the same. The one, hang on one second. I want to, eyes, look, so his, can. can you get a close, can you get a close up of his eyes? So he's Mexican, right? Do you know what your ancestry is in Mexico? Um, I want to Talking to the mic. I want to say Aztec, but I don't know. Well, that's okay. just a guess. I Mine. would say, if I had to guess, I would say you definitely have Indian blood. Definitely, dude. Can I touch your face, oh, dude? Yeah. Um, okay. See this little ridge right there? That's the Indian nose, man. Okay. That's. Our, our chances are pretty damn good that that's indigenous nose. And so here, so the interesting thing is your eyes, that you would almost have that full because you have Asian blood as well. And so if you look at your eyes, they sort of have that, they're not, not that different, right? But you don't have that epicanthic eye fold. So look, here's the thing. The other thing Asians have is the super orbital ridge right here on the side person who has whose forehead comes down really over their nose more so the forehead extends more
clearly. Anybody that really? Dude, turn on the side. Yeah, can you? Infra orbital ridge right here, right where you don't you, we don't see it so much with him, but this this is the or, this is the ridge. It's called the brow bone, and so it tends to be much flat, much flatter. And when when you look at him from the side, you can't think eye fold. It doesn't matter, but you know he's Asian from the side, right? Can you here turn right there? You can see that, right? You can really see he's Asian. Whereas this, look at her, right? It's not. And same with you, bro. But this guy, look at him. So he, you, nah, you got the flat, you got the super orbital thing going on as well, which is not uncommon. Look at here. See how it's like flat here? But it's more, but it sticks out over the eye. Like, see this, dude, are you cool with me touching you? Okay. See this space right here in him between his eye and the end of his nose? See how that's wider? You don't, you don't have that so much with you, right? It's much. You get all y'all y'all get a bunch of nose jobs, Asian women in particular. Like you get the nose job because you that nose right here. Here, come come forward. Put your nose. Come really close together. Are we cool? You guys comfortable? Nose to nose, guys. You good? Yeah. All right. Oh, we got it. No, come a little closer. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes so you can't see. Okay. So, what you got is people. No, hang on, hang on. Watch. This is. So pe what people want is. Asians want this look right here. Like, dude, you got it. Like how the eyebrows come out, the, this, this brow bone comes out over. The eyes are back in the face, in the skull a little bit, and his nose sticks out. And the, and the nose job that Asian gets is to get this nose right there. They want that look. And so what you do is, like here, you got to build that up on the, this ridge, on the, on the nose. So you got to build it up because that's the white nose. That's the European nose. Dude, so you got it going on, dude. Nice hair, too, but what's your name? John. John? Yeah. What's your ancestry? Uh, Sicilian and Irish. Dude, I was going to say you got to have Italian in you, right? Okay, and so you, you're you sort of, nah, you're kind I, of in between. I'm Irish. You have Irish, too? My mom's Irish. Your mom's Irish? Yeah. But your dad, your dad is definitely very Indian, right? He's got to be. Yes. Yeah, okay. And you have, so you have a... Yours is kind of similar here as well in that, right? So look, lots of what we see in the Asian community is lots of Asians getting nose jobs. Really, really common. So you want to build that up because you want to build that nose. And we don't see it so much among um, other groups, but we see it a lot. And then this eye job. And the eye job is eye surgery is to get rid of this epicanthic fold so that it opens the eyes up, boom, like that, so they look more like her. And, dude, the number of Asians to get nose jobs and eye jobs in order to get the look somewhere between him and him and him, it's just, it's growing every year. <laughs> so this is this thing. I had a nose job in here? Any Asians? Wait, wait, hang on. Yeah. Have you had a nose job? You haven't. No, you haven't. Any? Are there any? Wait, anybody from China or Korea that's had a nose job? Seriously, I, I would be really cool to see your nose. Anybody? Nobody? Seriously? I find that hard to believe. Anyone want a nose job? Anyone thinking about getting one? Yeah? Damn. I find that hard to believe. She All right. Knows. Wait, did you raise, did someone raise their hand? Right there. No? Wait. Wait, did some, an Asian person, you raise your hand? So you had a nose job? You want a nose job? Why? Because it's what? It's big, wait, come here. Come here. We're going to let the class decide if you have a big nose and if you should get a nose job. Oh my God. While she's coming up, if you are leaving the room and you don't give your ID to Lauren, we will find you, yeah, and we yeah. will take more points off than you yeah, can should. You, if you have to leave early, you got to see Lauren and Kristen in the back. You have a big nose. Oh, my God. Your nose is so big. Oh, my God. Look at the size of her schnoz. 
Oh my god. Dude, your nose is not big at all. Are you kidding me? Dude, it's not big at all. Here, hang on, hang on, come here. So wait, why do you, can we put you on the screen? Are you good? Okay. Well, you said it, so we're going to decide. Okay, hang on. We're going to look at you from a couple different angles, so look this way. Dude, what's wrong? You have such a cool nose. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Your parents make fun of your nose, but whatever. What do they know? They, yeah. Wait, and what's wrong with your nose? It's big. What's big about it? It comes out too much. It comes out too much? Yes. Wait, hang on. Can you go in that camera? Can you run into... No, no, no. Hang on. Yeah, no. Stay. Okay, look at her from the front. Okay, do this camera now. We're going to go from the side. Do you think it's big? Dude, not compared to like that dude's nose, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like it's small. Really? So what's big? Is it big this way or this way or? This way and like this way. Do you know why it's big? Do you know, what the evolu- Do you know why some people have larger noses than others? No. You don't know? No. Maybe if I told you, it would help a little bit. Why? Does anyone know? Like what we think? We're not certain as to why people have different sized noses and some people have flatter noses. The purpose of the nose, are you all cool just hanging out up here? Okay, cool. The purpose of the nose is to moisten, to first cool the air and moisten the air before it gets into the lungs. Because you ever have like a hot, a really cold day and if you go with your nose and you, like how that hurts. And so like you, that's unhealthy. It's not good. So you want to you cool the air off or warm the air, we, you know, warm it up, right? Not cool it off, warm it up and, and then moisten it, okay? And so what we see, what we think we see is in colder, more air, in climates, we see wider nostrils. And so like the pat, it's longer and it's wider because it's really doing that job. And in warmer climates, in more moist climates, we often see people with flatter noses, right? Like, like, f- like, look, flatter noses, like, do, would you like her nose? Yeah. It's do you like her nose? Yeah. What's, what about her nose do you like? I think it's like... Wait, hang on. Even if it is big, there's nothing wrong with it. But it's not big. I'm telling you, dude. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, look. I like, don't think it's big, but so like... Here, Here's what we know. There's nothing wrong with having a big nose. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. What we know is your ancestors, right, your ancestors evolved in an area that they needed. It's not much larger. It's just a little bit larger. And that's the Seriously, though. What's your ancestry? I'm Colombian. You're Colombian? Oh, my God. From where? Where's your family from? Medellin. Medellin? Okay. Habla español? Yes. Muy bien? Okay. Okay, Camila. You're good, right? Yes. You get the nose thing? All right, man. Okay, cool? Uh, thanks. Thank you. Gracias. Yeah. All right, dude, thanks, man. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Talk about... Uh, has anyone used... Can we, can we go in a different direction here? Can we, I'd actually like to get really, really serious. We have 20 minutes left. I'd like to actually have a really deep conversation. So, but what I need, I want to have a conversation about, I don't know if we can do it, because I don't know if people will trust me enough on this. What, what I would really, in order to have a conversation, the one I want to have, Camilla, that's a huge risk, by the way, to come up and say that you want to get a nose job, right? And honestly, um, I, I get that. I understand, you know, whatever, right? I don't, I, I don't, I think you have an absolutely lovely nose, but, um, but I actually would like to talk about about skin and and I actually would like to talk about what I'd like to do is talk about dark skin and but I don't want to talk about it I'd like to have a few of you in class talk about it I want to I'd like I would like to show a video and then I'd like to have a few people in class talk about the video and the experience of like of walking through the world with dark skin and it matters it's a different experience we know that the darker skin, 
People with darker skin uh, experience more discrimination. Experience, people with darker skin are generally viewed as less attractive, viewed as more likely to be arrested, more like to make less money. There's one thing after another, all the negative, and largely it's elevated over dark skin because of, in part, because of just fear of the negative stereotypes that go along with dark skin. And it's also because of white supremacy, because people have bought in to the idea that white is better and lighter is better. And so we have skin whitening creams and people all over the, here, hang on. I want to, I want to show you something. So I was, I, I think, I don't remember where I picked this up. I, I, it was either in New Delhi or in, in Addis Ababa in, in Ethiopia. Um, but I went into the drugstore to find this. And this is, um, can you, can you, are you able to get, can you read that? Right? So, white perfect. And, you know, imagining this, the, the number one, cosmetic product in the world the number one cosmetic product in the world the number one it's the cosmetic product in the world on which people spend more money than any other single cosmetic product and it's skin bleaching cream or skin whitening cream now if you think about the implications of that of human beings wanting to be lighter for no other reason it makes there's no reason to be light except wanting to somehow be more attractive to adapt to this, this ideal of white supremacy, that these, these ideas that come down to us from society. So what I'd like to do, if we could, um, I'd like to just watch the video that we're going to watch. It's going to take a couple minutes and then have a few people uh, who have dark skin Dark skin. Talk a little bit about the experience of dark skin. Okay? And if we don't have volunteers, we can't do it because we just can't. So it's going to be a matter of whether you feel comfortable enough and you can trust me enough to walk through the conversation, okay? So maybe we should, before I get the volunteers, maybe we should watch the video. Uh, hang on. Uh, it's a two-minute video. It was done by a young high school girl quite a number of years ago. This is a segment of the video, and she reproduces a study about dolls and attractiveness and what young black boys and girls find to be attractive, lighter skin or dark skin. And... Wait, hang on, hang on. I have to say, we'll watch a number of videos in the class. We'll talk about a number of things, but it may be that this is actually the, the most just troubling, deeply, deeply disturbing uh, video that we'll watch. It just, you'll, we'll see. Maybe I don't have to say anymore. Let's just watch it. So the young woman who first starts talking is the one who made the video as a high school student. I guess I sort of felt like I, there was not any attention towards me because of...
These are little kids. These are really random kids. And people who have reproduced this, we see the same thing all the time. And we continue to see it. Nothing has changed. 15 out of 21. The nice Tao. The white Tao. The bad Tao. The black Tao. The good Tao. The white Tao. The one I want to play with. The white Tao. The one I really don't want to play with. The black Tao. And I think that white people so many white people think that the race dialogue the race conversation is over. It's behind us. It's not something we need to talk about. And it may be because white people or certainly brown people, people who are not white, but especially white people, have not opened ourselves up to some of the issues, some of the ways in which race and these ideas of the identity enter into the lives of some people that historically speaking, have but white people sometimes just can't even hear. We don't even have a window. in this is a window in it's deep y'all that's deep does anybody is anyone willing to come say something about this video or about the experience of having dark skin anyone want to because Anybody else? Be nice if we had a couple of women. Hang, hang on, someone who hasn't come up. It'd be really nice if a couple of women were willing. Come on up, bro. Couple, someone who hasn't talked. Couple people who haven't. Yeah, it'd be really nice. I mean, you don't have to go. You're only going to go as deep as you can go. Just to share a little bit. Yes, ma'am. Anybody else? Maybe another woman. Mm-hmm. Have a seat. No. Here, you can sit right here. Do you want to sit up here or do you want to sit on a chair? Why don't you sit on a chair and I'll sit on here. You, to, you can sit on the table. Do you want to sit on a chair? Okay. And can you sit on here? Anybody else? Okay. Um, what's your name? Divine. What is it? Divine. Div- ah, divine again. What's your name? My name's Nia. What is it? Nia. Nia? Abi. 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 Abi? With a D? No. A B I. A B I. Abi. So, what, how is it? So, tell me what you. How is it watching the. And just say something about the video. Um, I've seen it a lot with. Uh, people of darker skin, like my culture especially, uh, there's, or in my childhood, I always want, like, I always pick, like, the white dolls, like, I don't know. Because? That was what was pretty normal, and it's hard to fit in if you're not that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about you, just a... We'll just do quickly go down and then come back. Yeah, it's just what do you see watching the video? How is that? Well, I've seen this video a few times already. Hold hold the mic close. Um, I've seen this video a few times already, like, and it's not nothing new anymore. Like, when I was younger, I always picked, like, the... Hold it close. Yeah, really close. Sorry. Um, I always picked the doll that was in between. I never really picked the white doll or the black doll. I picked the doll that was in between. Mm -hmm. And that's just because, like, I just thought that that was prettier, like... It wasn't like, like my mom and my dad was always like, oh, you're pretty, like, you know, but like, as you get older, like the media is like, no, it's the one in the middle. It's not white or black. So that's why mm-hmm. I was with the middle It's one. what I was saying, the brown, yeah. right? Yeah. The I actually was getting ready to touch that point because for me and my family, I was the lighter one. Um, 
So it was more of a, I always went for darker because I wanted to be accepted within my household or within my family as being that balance. I didn't want to, I've never dated like really, really light skinned people. I go dark um, for me. Mm -hmm. But that's not common among men, right. among black men, right? I mean, can you say? Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not yeah. common. So can you say so? So your skin's pretty dark. So how, how, like, how is that? Like, how, like, what, I don't know, just, give, just give us the... How am I so brown? No, 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 oh, what's that? I'm gonna say, what? Like, what? Can you just, just me as a white man, right? Mm -hmm. Can you just give me a window into just a few things that you may experience or think about that, or feel that I don't? I mean, like, just being black in general, like no, being just a having dark skin. Oh, um, having dark skin, like I feel like you're always being stared at, like especially because I'm from Philly, so you know, like being black and then, you know, I just feel like I'm just always like watched or followed, like, and that's not even just like as a female, it's in general for being black where I'm from. I don't know. I always like the doll that was in the middle, like. Like I never preferred the white doll. I never like I never said, "Oh, the white one is the best one." I never said mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. But I never was like, "Oh, the dark one's the best one." Either I yeah. always wanted the one in the middle because it was like I feel like the middle was the safe space. Like it was a, like mm -hmm. a good spot to pick because mm -hmm. it was like. The hair is wavy, so it's still curly because I like curly hair, but it's not as curly as my hair is. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, I feel like medium skin is the one with like colored eyes, but it wouldn't be like blue, but it wouldn't be as dark as my eyes. Got it. And when you say blue, you mean like really yeah, dark? Really. Yeah. And so for you, how, I mean, how, tell me something about that I maybe don't, ex that I don't A little bit about my day, my things like you need to bleach your skin. She was like giving me all these skin products, trying to make my skin lighter and stuff like that. Like quite perfect. Yeah. Because well, she made it herself. But. Uncomfortable with my skin, so hard. Can you say like a little more? Not just like I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I can't imagine what it is to not be comfortable with my skin, for example. Um. Um. It's it's a hard. It's like I sometimes forget that I'm brown, because I don't want to acknowledge that. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's not like, it's been like that when I was a kid, you know, I get more comfortable with my skin now. Like I'm way more comfortable than I was when I was younger and I had to fit in. Okay, but go back because if you acknowledged it, then... If I acknowledged it, then it would be that I could never be white, you know, mm -hmm. or like... Be lighter skinned, something like that. Mm -hmm. And if you can't be lighter skinned, then then what? Well, I'm not saying that, but that's how it was, like mm -hmm. in my head. Yeah, got you. Yeah. No, I got you. It's not up here, rational. Yeah. It's in here. Do you relate to that? Um. I've always liked my skin, like, personally. It's just that I feel like when it was that phase, like, it was, like, light skin versus dark skin, I feel like that's when I started to question, like, do I really like being dark? I feel like that's mm -hmm. what it was. Like, I've always loved being brown. I always loved... It's not the, it's not the same. It's not the same. 
No, because it's like, I, it, this is not something that's organic to me. Like, this is organic to you. Like, you can't change your skin. Yeah. Like, we live in a world where it's, like, sorry to say, we live in a world where white people are praised. So it's kind of like, you can say all you want that you don't feel like you're pretty enough, but it's white privilege. So yeah, you can't really relate to me. Like, I'm not saying you don't have your own issues, but, like, you can't relate to me. Dude, white people would never ever, you, 15 out of 21 white girls and boys would never choose the black doll over the white doll ever, ever. One might, who grew up in a multicultural family with parents who were really, really emphasizing that, maybe, but never would. So what does that say? Like, you grew up in a world, the two of you, and you grew up in a world where that's, com that's happening. So that's inside of you, right? Do you have anything you would add? Um, I, I dress accordingly, um, depending on where I'm going. Um, Um, most days, like, you'll see me around, I'm in a suit and tie just because I don't, one, want to be harassed by the police, um, and two, it separates me from, I'm not a thug, I'm not a threat mm -hmm. to anyone, like my fellow uh, man or woman, like, mm -hmm. I come in peace, so I, I choose, and then I'm older. So I choose to like differentiate myself, one, because of the color of my skin, and then two, mm -hmm. like yeah. where I am. It's central Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want you to shoot me for any reason. Yep. Hey, so we will, I'm sure at some points we'll come back to this at some point. But listen, thanks, man.